coming to our uh, second installment of our webinar series uh, for WIMS for CRM. Today we'll be focusing on uh, managing vendors and purchase orders. Uh, we do want to keep this under 30 minutes. Realize everybody is busy, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. What we will cover today, I'll give you some quick background on 2B Solutions, cover what is WIMS for CRM from a very high level, uh, and, and cover a few expected benefits for WIMS for STEM that you can expect to receive. Then we'll get right into the demo. My colleague Brandon Hernandez will be leading the demo. Uh, he's a chief architect of the system. And then we will have some Q&A afterwards as well. I will say again that this is the second installment of a, a webinar series. You can check out previous recordings and get information on future ones at our website at uh, 2bsolutions.com slash webinars. Uh, here is just kind of a screenshot of the webinar series that, that we're putting on, currently a couple other products as well. WIMS for CRM is over on the right. If you click on that, uh, again, you'll be able to see the past recordings. The, the last one we did two weeks ago was on managing inventory across multiple stocking locations. Uh, and I'll, you can also register for future events as well. So some quick background about 2B Solutions. We are uh, almost 12 years old, and we specialize in two things. Those are inventory slash asset management solutions for all kinds of businesses, and also dynamic CRM solutions as well. Uh, we have over 1,000 end users uh, across 14 countries. Those are some updated numbers. And uh, we have been doing inventory management really for the last 12 years. We've accumulated a lot of deep knowledge and experience in inventory management and system integrations as well. Uh, we are a certified Microsoft partner and a member of the Apple Business Consultants Network. So what is WIMS for CRM from a very high level? Well, WIMS for CRM is an inventory management solution built on the Microsoft Dynamics CRM platform. For those of, the, of you who have CRM already, uh, you know what a scalable and flexible uh, platform it is. Uh, our solution will work on both on-premise deployments and CRM online, and it extends the out-of-the-box product and order entity types. Uh, into a full-blown inventory management solution. Uh, it lets you manage the supply chain across multiple locations uh, and provides drill-down capabilities through charts, views, and it has very advanced reporting features. Uh, all transactions are tracked in the system, so you can drill down to either the serial, uh, serial number level uh, and then all the way down to the resting spot uh, on your shelf or the bin location as well. In WIMS for CRM, information is very easy to find, and we can help you automate a lot of standard supply chain processes. Uh, it's more affordable than lots of other accounting and, and or ERP solutions out there on the market today. It's very, very customizable as well, and for those of you who have CRM already, you know that. Uh, and you can leverage the out-of-the-box capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics CRM, such as team and user roles. Uh, permissions, a very robust workflow engine, dashboards, email alerts, and more. And that's just really scratching the surface of what you can do with Dynamic CRM. Uh, it's flexible deployment. Again, you can deploy it on-premises or online. And there is an integrated mobile app solution. Speaking of mobile app, uh, we have developed a proprietary uh, or a, a, a mobile app that runs on uh, barcode scanners for WIMS for CRM. Uh, we'll be actually covering this functionality in more detail in a future webinar. But I did just want to show you a quick screenshot and the late and the uh, and the scanner that we are recommending the most, the Honeywell 99GX. It's really a great combination of form factor and price and, and, and ruggedness and performance as well. Again, we'll be covering this in more detail in a future webinar. So let's get right into the demo, but I do just want to say, too, that if you have questions, you can go ahead and take advantage of the uh, questions uh, pane or tab that's part of your uh, GoToMeeting uh, user interface there. Uh, you can go ahead and start submitting those. Uh, my colleagues and I will be fielding those, and we can uh, tee them up quickly for the Q&A. But right now, I'm going to uh, turn it over to my colleague, Brandon, so that uh, he can get into the demo. 
Brandon. I think it's all you. All right. Thanks, Glenn. All right. So you should be able to see my screen at this point. Uh, this is one of the default home screens in WIMS for CRM, uh, giving you a bit of a product overview uh, across several of your warehouse locations, uh, touching on some of the things we covered in the last webinar, such as using stocking locations and vendors to better sort, categorize, and manage your inventory. What I'd like to show you today is a dashboard we built to help uh, get a visual on and automate the replenishment process. So this describes uh, being able to manage and see what inventory you have that may be uh, low stocked or, or almost out of stock, uh, and making it simple for you to then generate purchase orders to replenish that inventory uh, in as few steps as possible. So the way we've organized this dashboard, in the upper left corner, you see uh, inventory products that have low stock. Now, uh, right here we have the minimum quantity field. That can be set at both the item level and the location level. So if you wanted to have a different reorder point at your primary stocking warehouses, let's say, compared to your trucks or some other mobile inventory locations, you can set up those numbers individually, and this system will uh, treat them all the same. Uh, in the upper right, we have purchase orders that are currently open. This could be automatically created purchase orders uh, as part of the replenishment process, or if you have uh, a manual uh, system of entering purchase orders, they could also show up here. The bottom of the dashboard, which we'll get into a bit later in the demo, shows purchase orders that are in progress in the bottom left. So this could mean either you've sent the purchase order out to the uh, vendor to have them fulfill that order, or any other internal processes uh, you may have for your business. And then on the right are the receivers. So this is the part of the supply chain where you handle uh, actually those uh, uh, transports, uh, where they end up on your shelves, uh, the put away process, all of that, uh, but with an easy tie back to the purchase orders on the left-hand side of the screen. So uh, what I'm about to show you here as part of this demo is normally done as an automated process in the background. Uh, we're going to do it manually here uh, just for the sake of clarity, but uh, so let's go ahead and kick this off. Uh, before we do, you'll see uh, we have three demo items here that are below their uh, minimum quantity values, uh, four on a minimum quantity of five, nine on a minimum quantity of ten, and then three on a minimum quantity of uh, five as well. So we'll kick off this uh, process that's normally running in the background. Now what this is doing is going uh, for every vendor in your system that, that sells these low stocked items and finding the best fit to automatically create a purchase order for you. Uh, in this test system, that best fit is uh, determined by what vendor sells these products for the lowest cost. Uh, we'll touch on at the end of the demo some other options that you can choose to implement uh, for your warehouse. So now we just refresh this dashboard. And as you can see, those low stocked items on the left hand side are now gone. Uh, this is so that you don't accidentally reorder for the same item multiple times. Uh, and it also gives you a nice visual indication of uh, what items still need to be handled. On the right hand side, you'll see now that there are two new open purchase orders. Uh, the system created these automatically based on the lowest cost rule I mentioned before. And if we blow up this list, we can open up a separate pane here and see that on the Avaya uh, purchase order, it has the two line items uh, with the default quantity uh, set to get them above that minimum quantity value, and then this BJ Micro purchase order uh, that is for that third remaining line item. So now, these uh, purchase orders will sit here. Uh, if you have a slow uh, replenishment cycle, uh, any low stock items that fit these vendors will automatically be added as long as they remain in this open state. So let's move, go ahead and move these to the next phase of the process. So what we'll do is open up one of these uh, purchase orders, and we give you an automatic ability to convert this purchase order into a receiver. Now, uh, in this test system, we're just doing a simple process of automatically creating an email uh, to fire off to this uh, vendor, Avaya. 
uh, whenever this purchase order is completed. But that can be modified to match uh, whatever internal processes you have uh, in your warehouse. So we'll go ahead and convert this. And then let's go back to that dashboard. And now you'll see that the VIA purchase order is gone because it's no longer open. It can no longer receive new lines. It's already been put into that uh, in-progress cycle. And you'll see it's now down here in the bottom left, uh, along with the associated receiver that we created. Um, we'll get into the next uh, uh, webinar, more details about the receiving process uh, and how that can better integrate with your mobile platform. But in just this one screen, you can automatically see items that are uh, low on stock, open purchase orders that are automatically created for you uh, with predetermined rules, and then keep track of any purchase orders that may require more than one uh, receiver to, to complete. Sometimes vendors uh, send multiple shipments uh, to complete one purchase order, and you can easily and quickly see which receivers uh, tie back into which purchase orders from this screen. Now, the real flexibility of the system uh, are the rule sets behind the scenes that trigger and, and control all of this automation. Uh, as I mentioned before, the rule set for this demo uses uh, the lowest cost vendor, uh, but you can also have that go to a primary vendor for certain items if you want to maintain a vendor relationship, or if you have certain uh, price breaks uh, over a certain quantity, you can uh, include those rules as well and the system will automatically follow all those uh, as it creates these records and as it walks you through the process uh, of verifying your inventory. So I hope that this was uh, informative and just shows you how uh, simple it is to automate these features and then give a quick high-level view uh, of every stage of the replenishment process, uh, including, as we'll dive into on the next webinar, uh, receiving and putting away those inventory and tracking where on your store shelves uh, those items end up. So that's about it for uh, this webinar's demo. I'll go ahead and pass it back to Glenn, and we can start digging into the Q&A. Uh, thank you, Brandon. I'm actually going to stop the recording here, and uh, then we will.